Welcome back to our location here at the Leduc No. 1 Energy Discovery Centre. We want to tell you a bit more about that discovery now and how it changed Alberta. It happened 65 years ago, only in Canada. The location, a farmer's field on this spot, just 20 minutes outside of Leduc and hundreds of metres underground. At the turn of the last century, Leduc was more about dirt and dust than it was about drilling. Life here moved a little more slowly, a little more gently. Oil was known to exist, the question was where? No one was looking harder than Imperial Oil. For three decades, oil companies had been drilling with only limited success. Searching, searching, searching. Then in February 1947, 20 miles south of Edmonton, near the little town of Leduc, Alberta, Imperial Leduc No. 1 struck oil. That was unreal when that gusher came on. Simon Gramlich is 90 years old. He was part of the original crew that worked on Leduc No. 1. This is Finn, this is me, this is Funk, this is Smith. But we called him Snuffy. He was also had snuff, you know. And this Ben Hour, he was the truck driver. And he drove the first big truck in Alberta. The biggest they had was Imperial Oil. For Cy, Snuffy, and the rest of the guys, the work was tough, dirty, and relentless. In the Leduc field, each well costs about $100,000. And it takes six weeks to drill the 5,000 odd feet down to oil. In that first year, a well came in at the rate of one every nine days, producing half a million barrels of crude. The roads were filled with traffic, oil workers and trucks carrying pipe, a conga line of machinery to service a growing infrastructure. Leduc's pioneer days were over. A whole new town called Devon was built to support the industry, and as the oil flowed out, the money flowed in. It made Alberta. It made the country, really, once we had our own oil and everything. Sure, that was great, and still is. The Leduc oil field is now a national historic site. The museum at the center is filled with artifacts from that time. And as for the well that started it all, Leduc No. 1 was decommissioned in 1974. The derrick now stands in Edmonton's Gateway Park.